Hi friends, welcome to our channel Learn to Win. Today we will discuss about basic integration formulations. Now, first we will discuss about integration of cos x with respect to dx. It will be sin x plus c. This c is as, in, as an integration constant. Now, integration is just the reverse process of differentiation. So, if we differentiate sin x, then it, we will get cos x. So, if we integrate cos x, then we will get sin x. Next is integration of sin x. That will be cos x plus c. <coughs> if we differentiate tan x, we will get sec squared x. So, integration of sec squared x will be tan x plus c. Similarly, integration of sec x tan x will be sec x plus c. Integration of cos x square x will be minus cot x. And integration of cos x dx, cos x cot x dx is minus cos x plus c. These are the integration formulas for trigonometric functions. Now, if we come to algebraic functions, let's say about x to the power n dx. After integration, we will get x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. In case of 1 by x, we will get log x plus c. We know that if we differentiate log x, result will be 1 by x. So, if we integrate 1 by x, we will get log x. Integration of e to the power x will give the same result. That means e to the power x plus c. But for a to the power x, it will be a to the power x by log a plus c. If we integrate dx, then we will get x. Like if we differentiate x, we will get 1. So if we integrate 1, then we will get x plus that constant. Now, if we use this formula in some other cases, like if we integrate cos mx instead of cos x, then we will get sin mx by m plus c. We can give one example, like if we integrate cos 6x, then we will get sin 6x by 6 plus c. Same for let sin mx dx we will get minus cos mx by m plus c. These are all for multiple angle formulas or sub multiple angle formulas. Like if we write sin 8x and then integrate it then we will get cos 8x by 8 plus c. Same will go for sec squared x mx sorry sec squared mx dx it will we will have tan mx by m plus c for sec mx tan mx dx we will get sec mx by m plus c for cos x square mx dx we will get minus cot mx by m plus c for cosec x cosec mx cot mx dx we will get minus cosec mx by m plus c now these are formulas and these two are illustrations now for algebraic functions also, like if we do ax to the power n dx, then we will get ax to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. For a by x dx, we will have a log x. For e to the power mx, we will get e to the power mx by m plus c. Let's have an example like e to the power 10x. Then we will have e to the power 10x by 10. The multiple of or the coefficient of x will be divided. 
for a to the power x, a to the power mx, we will have a to the power mx, m log a. Again, that coefficient will be divided. For integration of kx, we will get k dx, we will get kx plus c. So, these are again our formulas and these three are illustrations. These are the basics of integrations, I mean indefinite indefinite integrations. On next uh, video, we will discuss about we will discuss about integration by parts, method of substitution and some different integral formulas also. So that's all. If you like this video, please like hit button below. For more updates and videos, please subscribe our channel Learn to Win. Click the bell icon for notifications and please please share if you like it. Never miss another update from Learn to Win. Have a nice day.